Hello, we are in Bucharest uh, at the workshop organized here today by Broadspire, uh, presenting itself to the Romanian market and its professionals. And we will speak with Mrs. Charlotte from Kroll. Uh, she's head of Broadspire Europe and also director for the Nordic region. Charlotte, welcome to Bucharest. We are happy to have you here. Thank you very much. It's very nice to be here. For the first time in Bucharest? It's the first time and it's not the last. <laughs> we hope so. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask you why Broadspire by Crawford and Company? It seems rather complicated as a name. Yes, it actually is a long story, but I'll try and make it short. Uh, Broadspire was an American company that Crawford bought like 14 years ago. And uh, in the US, they've always been separated. So uh, Broadspire has been the TPA business, whilst Crawford in the US has been the CCS, the, the Crawford Claim Solutions, the more property and casualty part of the business. So. They bought, Crawford bought Broadspire and they kept separated. Whilst in Europe, it's been one Crawford all the time, but at this, back in 2017, 18, we split the whole world into service lines, global service lines. Therefore, we had one Crawford, and then we had a Broadspire, and then we had a Contractors Connections. And then, instead of having uh, P&Ls over all the countries, we have P&Ls on the global service lines. Therefore, Broadspy is now getting more focus than in the past. Uh, but we have to make sure that it's not a separate company, it's just that it's TPA business compared to large losses and more complex losses. That's the difference as well. Well, it seems a rather complex structure and very extended as well. Uh, what is your European history? When, start, when did you start the European business and uh, where? Uh, well, uh, a little bit about myself. I've been with the company for 25 years. And I started off in Norway uh, as, a, as an accountant. That was my background. Uh, we then developed, so uh, in 99 it was taking over as a country manager in Norway. Uh, some years later I was appointed as the Kimia um, manager, uh, Continental Europe, Middle East and Africa. And then uh, after a certain period I went back again because my small children, I have three children, so I went back to uh, Norway and took the Nordic region, which is then Finland, Denmark, Sweden and Norway. So I've been managing that for many years. Uh, up until then, January 2018, when we started making the global service lines, I was asked to promote Broadspire into Europe. And in Europe nowadays, we have 10 uh, companies that we own. So that's the Nordic, the four Nordic countries, and then it's Germany, uh, Holland, and Belgium, Spain, and Italy, and Poland. So that's our, our main area where we owe our companies. In the eastern part, uh, outside Poland, we have associates. And that's then companies representing us, but we don't have any ownership, uh, but we work close together and give them the training that is needed to develop the same way as Crawford and & Company and Broadspire. So in the end, uh, uh, Romania is, let's say, uh, the second major step in the CE for you, but uh, your footprint through your partners, it's covering almost the entire region? Yes. In, in, in Romania, we're fortunate to have Narcis here, Pavlovsky, uh, who, who manages uh, you know, the, the country as a whole and, and doing a great job. Uh, he's also focused, or the company's focused on uh, more complex claims uh, in addition to TPA, but we're going to help grow the TPA business in, in both Romania and the other Eastern European countries through, through then um, uh, Radu, who's been appointed now. Yeah. Uh, are you interested also in the future to go further to the east, let's say in Turkey or... Uh, in the Central Asian countries, uh, in the ex-Soviet uh, region? This 
it depends on the clients and the client base. If they, you know, if the clients or the insurance companies would like to use us, of course. Uh, it depends how how the different countries are built up as well, how much automation they have, how much manual work they have, and how how much outsourcing they have in the region. Some insurance companies want to do all the claims themselves and, and want full control, whilst in other countries they want to outsource it. So it depends on each and every country how it will expand. This brought me to my um, uh, almost final question for you. Uh, in fact. What uh, needs a market, an insurance market, to have as an uh, element of interest to be interesting for you to enter it? Should it be a more sophisticated market? Uh, uh, I don't know, it's a, a certain volume of business, uh, things like this. I would say that we're interested in all type of business. We are a consultancy company, so we can help out the insurance business and the captives uh, and the brokers in the way they want. It can be on smaller portfolios, it can be on larger portfolios, it can be actually doing audits within their company. So, so you know, our, our market is, is huge and, and depends on what they want from us as well because we have the competence and we are able to do whatever they would like. And in the end, I uh, assume that uh, Broadford is not uh, the only provider of this kind of services, uh, of course, but uh, uh, you have to bring some uh, competitive advantages uh, so to be successful on these markets. What is the most interesting element uh, that you are offering for the for your partners in these countries flexibility i don't know adjustability what is the main thing i would say uh, our it tools that we can have one system throughout the whole of europe we're working on, on one system so the insurance companies or, or carriers that work in all different countries we can provide them with the same services through um, one system to administrate their claims and they have online knowledge at any point in time. I think that is what it makes us uh, stronger than our competitors today as well and not to mention the, the technical competence that our employees expect. Well, this sounds very good. I wish you a very successful business uh, not only in Romania but uh, all over the region. Thank you very much, Charlotte.